so this video is basically just a tutorial about rainbow so first you're gonna see this which is just it's gonna vary depending what season you start in and basically just hit any button besides the PlayStation button or the options well you might be able to hit options just basically just hit X and then you load in takes a while to load Meanwhile, enjoy the music in the background. So, when you first start, it might be a little bit different than mine, because it's gonna it's in, in the top right. It's gonna be zero everything, and no six or silver two. Basically, what you're first gonna want to do is hit X on this little uh three lines and then you're gonna have all of this uh, you can't play ranked or unranked but you can play newcomer what you're gonna want to do is just go to either actually yeah go to situations go to this first one I don't think any of these are gonna show for you or if they do they're gonna be locked start in the first one by hitting X or whatever it is and uh, I'm probably gonna have like a thing like a you will engage in yeah. 10 fundamental counter-terrorism situations before being deployed report to the SAS base in Hereford you are to infiltrate a kill house and clear the area of enemy combatants in close quarters combat operators must rely on situational awareness to locate and identify threats and assets secure the area using a slow and methodical sweep here, you will face a trained enemy, equipped with military-grade weapons and explosives. Never stop until the threat is neutralized. You will need to rely on basic muscle discipline and your ability to reduce exposure to enemy fire by using the environment. Okay. Eliminate the terrorists. So first... Uh, the right joystick, the little circle that you can move around, that's used to look around. You can look right, left. Your sensitivity is probably going to be a lot lower than mine. Uh, and the left one, on the left, you use that to walk. So you can walk and move. And then, on the back, you can flip your controller towards the, the lights facing you. L2 is used to aim. R2 is used to fire. L1 is used to use flash grenades, breaching charge, whatever you normally have. And then R1, normally it's a special gadget, but since we're a crew, R1 is just a breaching charge. And uh, then on the left, a set of arrows, the left arrow will ping. I guess it doesn't work in this, but left arrow normally pings like if you're aiming over there and hit the left arrow, I put like a little marker up so our teammates know something. The down arrow, oh, the right arrow we're used to be throw out a drone. This little guy right here. Then you hit the down arrow, you get on the drone, and then same thing. The right used to look, left used to move. And while on this, you can see the enemies. You can hold down the triangle button and spot the people to where you now know where they are. Um, if you find a surface that's um, also whenever you aim, when you're holding an L2, you can the one you use to look. You can push down on that to lean right, and then vice versa for the other one to lean left. And now you use your basic thing to line up a shot and shoot. L2 aim, R2 shoot, L1 special gadget, or no, L1 normal equipment, R1 special gadget. And then uh, normally if you push down on uh, L3, L3 is the uh, 
left joystick that you use to move, that's L3. R, R3 R is the one you used to look. Uh, normally, if you hit L3, nothing happens unless you're aiming. But if you hit R3, you melee. This guy's an example. You melee. And if you come across a thing like this, you'll see it says X to vault. You hit X and you jump over it. Or if you have it in the right position, you'll jump on it. Used to getting into some cool spots or get over stuff. And then if you're out of or shoot a bunch, and now you're low on ammo, you can see it hits square to reload. Just tap square once, reloads automatically, and you're back to good. See, you have 31 bolts if you hit square, nothing happens. But if you shoot all of them, and you reload automatically, you only get 30 bullets. So if you're safe, you can reload again, get the one extra bullet. And then the up arrow, you're basically never going to use that. It just, if you if you hold an R2, you shoot forever until you run out of ammo. And then if you hit the up arrow, you can see in the bottom up arrow, now, if you hold it in, it just shoots one, so it's burnt. It's tap fire. If you hold it in, of course, after a while, you'll learn to tap fire without having that set to tap fire. Now, these things right here are barricades. You can shoot through them, or you can simply punch them three times. And it breaks. And then, if you hold an X up against a wall like this, you'll repel like this. And then now there's a thing called exit repel, where you just hit X to exit repel. And then now you're up here. You get X to vault. And then these things, you can punch them, and you can shoot through them, but it'll take a while to break them. For that, you hit R1, and then hold in square. Move away, don't be near it whenever, and then hit R1 again. Boom. Now, use your knowledge to flashbang in first. These things are reinforcements. Can't shoot, can't melee. Only thing you can use to destroy those are Maverick, Hibana, and Thermite. Only people that can break those. Uh, I miss this map so much. Right now we're on the top floor where there's no enemies. Also, if my map knowledge is correct, there should be a hatch around here. It's been a long, long time since I played this, sadly. Well, this map, because this map got removed from the game. Well, it's still in the game, but it's changed a lot to where it's not good anymore. I guess there's no hatches. Normally, if you find a hatch, what you're going to want to do... Actually, just take out these people first. Also... If you want to make an escape, just break these, run away, there's a ladder, there's usually stairs, there used to be stairs, or maybe that's just on the new map, but this map was one of my favorites until they removed it, and then, if you, oh yeah, if you tap square once, you'll crouch, tap it again, stand back up, spam it, now you're making people mad, or nice, uh, if you hold square, if you, I mean, if you hold circle, you go prone to where you're laying down now. It's really quiet, really slow, and also good for, like, being stealthy. Crouch is usually the best option. Hit L3 to lean. If you, if you hear a flashbang, look in the other direction. It'll tell you if it's near. Also, if you, if you hit triangle... Especially between your guns. So if you run out of ammo and you want to reload, pull out your pistol. I missed that. My bad. Can't get through this because it's reinforced. Are there any hatches over here? Yeah. So these things are hatches. Again, they're like normal. So you can punch them, shoot them. But if you want to actually destroy it, you have to play some beach charge. Unless you equip a shotgun, which if you equip a shotgun... You can just shoot it three times and then it breaks, or even sometimes one. Hit R1 again, close it up. If you hit R3, it'll melee and it one-shot kills. And there should be another guy over here. So what you're going to want to do is flashbang. He's blinded. Miss your shots. 
but you, you want to kill him. I don't know why I missed my shots. Also, you, remember you can shoot through walls at all times. So, you can shoot through walls. And whenever there's three people left, they'll start coming to you. So, just get a good angle. Make sure you're reloaded. If you hold in L2, you'll go back to leaning whenever it's done. And at the end, whenever it's this, you just tap square a bunch. It's a ritual. And then finish uh, those stars. I've already done them, so it doesn't do anything. But uh, basically, you get like 50, 500. No, I'm pretty sure it's 200 renown per star. So if you do, if you did it without taking 50 damage. You get one two hundred if you do all killing two people while aiming, which is pretty easy. You get that perform four headshots. <laughs> that's the set that's medium. Uh then you'll get six hundred in total plus XP, which is twenty four plus one. Since I have the season pass, I get like a three percent more renown per thing. And then I'm not gonna do all of them because I have a separate video for that. And uh basically what you're gonna wanna do is just uh finish all of the situations on here just go through all of them finish them try to get three stars on each you'll get a lot of achievements which don't do anything but they're cool you get platinum trophy eventually you can brag about it but uh just gonna do all that article 5 you don't really need to do it's an online one but it's still there and then once you complete all those you go to operator which for this i actually don't know what it looks like because i have all the operators for me, it shows the operators, but for you, I, get, I don't know. You go here, and uh, how do you buy ops? Um, I guess you could just go to shop and probably find... It's, it's probably going to show up here. I'll probably just say buy ops. You click on that, go to the op you want. And I have some videos that show which ops are good. And uh, you'll buy them. It costs renown. Unless it's a DLC op, which is everyone from. That's everyone that's not the top row, you can buy for renown. But the uh, middle and bottom row, there's all DLC ops, which you can only. Actually, no, no. You can buy them with uh, renown, but it costs $25,000. 25 thousand renown per operator or it goes down 5,000 every couple seasons so buck would be like I don't know 10,000 I think now same goes for defense all these and these yellow ones are called elite skins you click on them go to uniforms and the elite skin will pop up well I already bought it but it would pop up like right here with a big one that's all long and then that that you can only buy with uh are six credits, which is the real money. Which you, you it's five dollars for six hundred. It costs fifteen dollars to get one elite skin, and uh, with uh, five dollars, we'll get you one operator. It's always six hundred for these ones. Each one's six hundred. Every operator that's new is six hundred. Uh, R six credits, and that's five dollars per. And then if you buy twenty dollars or above, it'll give you bonus R six credits. Um. Once you finish all those uh, situations, you're gonna want. You, if you look at your controller, also on uh, th these pages, if you want to go to operators, you hit R1 to go right in the top left, and then L1 to go back, and then etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Or you can hit the up arrow until it's glowing up there, and then move that left or right with the arrows, and then hit X. And uh, what, you, what you're gonna do is go back to this thing, hit X, and then what you're gonna want to do is hit options. The button you control that says options, hit that, and then hit X, and then you can use this to change all your controls, sensitivity, all of this stuff is that's where you find it. Uh, brightness, audio, but right now what you're gonna want to do is go to matchmaking preferences. You go when we go to matchmaking preferences, hit X, and then this look different to you. I'm pretty sure everything will be on. What you want to do is go to Tearstone Classic, 
turn on click Terrastron Classic and then have it only Terrastron. I know actually that Terrastron Classic is good practice at first. So keep that on at first and then turn all of these maps off except for house. House is the only one you want on. And then you hit circle to exit and then go down to Terrace Ton. You can play matchmaking, but I wouldn't recommend it because it takes a while to load, and then you have teammates that mess up. But just hit L3 to switch the button you use to move up and down and stuff. And then once go to normal, unless you want to, I wouldn't do it. Just, just go in normal, hit X, take a couple seconds to load, and then I'll go here, which is house. And then you can skip all the situations and just go straight to a terror stunt. But I mean, it's easier to do situations first. What you're going to want to do, I would, you can go any of these. Just go no vote, do whatever you want. And then if you're just skip situations, just go recruit. You have all these operators, but then you have to set them up and do all that stuff. But just go recruit. I would recommend my class, I would recommend GSG9 and GIGN. And then you can use any gun you want. I would recommend the shotgun only because it's, it's for beginners. Shotguns are usually the best because you don't really need to aim since it shoots a lot of bullets. You don't really need to aim. Like we got anyone that's in that with the, within a couple of meters. And then it's the same thing L3 to walk, R3 to move. And you'll see that. We'll get into that later. Uh, what you want to do, you can hold. Oh, yeah. Actually, I'm dumb. If you hit L3, it goes into sprint, which makes you run faster, but it makes a lot of noise. And do what we, uh, we talked about before. Hit R1, point breathing charge, place that back up. Actually, what you also want, might want to do is throw a drone with the right arrow, hit down arrow, plot your drone, move it. And with your drone, you can hit X to jump like this. But then it has a cooldown for two seconds. Um... And this is classic, so there's no objective. You just kill all of the enemies. And then you'll see the prime spots where enemies are going to be. There should be enemies in here. There's usually enemies in here, but there's not. It's randomized. There's enemy. There's usually three enemies per room. For this one, there's going to be one like right here, back here, and then over here. And then in this room, they're going to be like basically all back here in this area and for over here you can see them there's three people there's usually also one shield and there's also usually two people in here they usually there's one right here with a shield one right here and like one right here and if they if they hear you like shoot or move or set while walking barbed wire also these things right here you're gonna watch out for those actually I'm just gonna go in and hit R1 blow it there's a sprint in there. If there's people in here, you shoot them, take them out with the shotgun. Just keep walking forward. So yeah, look, these this is these are the walls. If you with a shotgun you shoot it, now you have a big hole you can look through. And if you shoot a couple more times, you can get a hole big enough to jump through. If you hold an L1, you put your grenade, which you can just use to uh toss that there and uh not kill them, I guess. And then put your pistol for long range. Out of ammo. Stand back, reload. Hear you hear them coming. It's usually good to be quiet so you can hear them coming, but See, I, I didn't even hit him. He just died. And you run. You run. If you're running low on ammo, you go over these things. Hold square. Don't let go. Just keep holding square in. Then you get all your ammo back. You fill in everything. Uh, L1 R. Well, normally it doesn't fill up your R1. It doesn't give you your gadget back. But since, but since it's, it's terrorist time, it'll give it back to you since it's just a breach and charge. I don't see this guy anywhere. Oh, there he is. 
And then uh, these bar wires, if you walk in them, uh, they'll hear you move and then come at you. Uh, there's a hatch right there. Uh, it's reinforced right now. You can reinforce hatches. Uh, what we're gonna do? You can grenade them, sledge them. You're gonna hit R. Just hit R three to melee. Punch it twice. It's dead. And this thing right here, the uh, C four, that nitro cell C four, whatever you wanna call it. Um, nitro is usually what you call it. If you in this game, it will in terrorist ton. If you go near it, it'll automatically blow up and kill you. So what you're gonna do is just shoot it. It's dead. It's as simple as that. In multiplayer, it's different from that. Uh, you hit L1 to throw out the nitro cell, and then you can keep it there forever. And then you hit L1 to manually blow it up. So it actually requires skill. I could hear him. He's right there. I can also hear him. Oh, right there. Take the guys out. R3. Punch him twice. Oh, they tore my drone. Pull out a grenade. Uh, yes, I would. Oh, that killed two of them. Ah, uh, yes, I would. Uh, recommend buying this game. It is a good game. Hit triangle to play pistol. Headshots are always going to be one shots, also. Punch it out. I can hear him coming this way. Now there's three people left, they're gonna start rushing you. In case you don't know what that minute last time, it just means they're just gonna come at you. There's also usually three people in this room. Knife, one shot, R3. Look. You can shoot through walls. You win. It'll always show the final kill after. It'll always show that, no matter what. Every round. And then you win. It's there. Happy. And then every time you do this, you get both experience and renown. Renown you use to buy ops, and I'm pretty sure that's all you can use it to is buy operators. Oh no, you can also buy skins for guns. Once you get once you get operators, see you get renown and experience. You don't get anything for leveling up, which is kind of sad, but you get experience level shows your skill basically. And then after you do that a couple times, you go back to operators, find the by operators button I don't I have all the operators so I don't see that but it'll be here somewhere and then you buy the operators and then once you buy the operators let's say you buy twitch twitch is a good choice so is uh, doc twitch and doc are both good choices so they say buy twitch you go to uh, I you can use your renown to buy headgears you can see I've got this is the normal one this is the elite one which I bought and there's this one and then this one and then you can equip those to make your operator look better and you go to load out and these are all your guns that you have and operators have a choice between two L1 gadgets to claim more and breaching charge breaching charge you place it in the wall blows up claim more you place it down on the ground it shoots three lasers out one going straight forward one going left left ish straight left it's a diagonal left the other one diagonal right if an enemy walks on that, it'll blow them up and kill them. It'll, it'll always kill them. Unless you get really unlucky. Or if they, if you're lucky, you can run past it if you're fast enough. But I don't think you can. Also, Doc, who's the other operator who's good, his gadget, his R1 gadget, will shoot himself. Well, actually, no. You, I'll, I'll just example this. You go to options. You can turn on defense you go to matchmaking go down to protect hostage it's square to apply it so you don't do nothing go back down to terror stunt and then lone wolf normal and you could do matchmaking that'll put you in a 
group standing people, but there's not really any skill matchmaking in this game at all. Like, you can put a level 0 person with a level 100 person. But we'll get into that later. There's things you can do. That not that, uh, I would recommend Laundry Room or Master. Laundry Room is the easiest. Master. The reason that you choose House is just the smallest and most iconic map in the game. Like, once you get to, like, level 20, you'll basically have House memorized. And you want to go to Dock. And then down here, you'll choose his guns, P90, MP5, uh, shotgun. I would usually choose the P9, MP5, and bulletproof camera. Because there's just... The MP5 is probably the best primary. And so I have Black Ice, which Black Ice is also the most iconic skin in this game. It's for every gun. Uh, but uh, it's... You get a different alpha box. I'll get to that later. If you have L1, you pull out your camera. You can place it down right here. And then uh, you want to go to these walls. You go in, If you go up to the wall on the fence, hold square. It takes six seconds. The time it takes basically six seconds exactly. And then you reinforce again. You have two. Always have two unless you recruit. If you recruit, you uh, only have one. And normally, uh, you see this thing right here as a camera. On defense, you want to keep that there and keep it there. On attack, you're gonna you're gonna want to destroy that so they don't see you. Basically, what it does is I can go onto that camera and see them coming, spot them, then come around, and then take them out. Then reload, take them out. You get back into a good position to where they can't hit you. Get in your camera and wait for them to come. So yeah, normally there's more than this. There's a, some outside, but on Terrorstone they don't have cameras outside. Oh crap. Hatch. How do you go flying back that far? Okay, good. I took damage. So, you see, I took damage. What you want to do is you hit R1, pull the gun. What you could do is shoot at your teammate. Your teammate's a hostage. The terrorist will come and shoot him. And you can revive him with this or heal him. What you want to do is you want to hit R1 again. You shoot yourself in the arm. You reload. You normally only have three shots in multiplayer. What it does, it'll heal 40 damage or revive them and put them at 75 health whenever you revive them. Which in multiplayer and two players in this, if you get shot in the body uh, with low powered rounds, like uh, if you get shot in the body, uh, I, I mean, I didn't make the game, I don't know the entire statistics, but usually if you get shot in the foot or somewhere that's not a main organ, you'll get down. If you won't die, you'll just get down. Uh, what downed happens? What downed is is uh yeah you'll 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 see in a second. So look, he's down right now. All he he normally people you you, you can hold square to revive him, or you could have just shot him with your stim shot, and then uh what you can uh. Your teammates, whenever they're downed, they have 20 health when they're downed. Uh, they can move around like really slowly. They're like crawling like really slowly, like slower than this. And uh, enemies can go over them and kill them. And teammates can go over there, hold square, and revive them. And uh, after a while, if no one comes to them, they'll die automatically. The person who shot them, whoever, the person who downed them, gets the kill. You get 50 points for downing someone, but not the kill. And, uh... There is an operator on defense. Uh, the operator... Uh, her name is Cab... Uh, Cabera, or Cabera. And what, what her gadget is, it's a two-part gadget. She's one of the operators who... She's a DLC operator. But I recommend getting her first as a DLC operator. Because she's extremely good. Really good guns and gadgets. 
Oh crap. That's what do, just go back. Hit R1 twice, kill yourself again. Actually, you, want, you might want to hit another time. Okay. Okay. Um. What? So, the first part of our gadget, if you just hit R1 normally, she'll, uh, your screen will be weird. It'll be get greenish, kind of faded green. And, uh, <clears throat> her footsteps, you'll, you'll be able to hear the footsteps since it's your operator. Sadly, you can't not hear your footsteps, but the enemies can't hear your footsteps at all. Um, and, but you can only use your pistol. You can't use your primary. You can only use your pistol. And, uh, that's, that's good because her pistol is a two shot at close to medium range. It's a two shot. And then at long range, it's a three, three or four shot, depending on how long it is. Uh, mo the thing is, the, the reason shotguns are so good at this game is because most, most of the times you fight someone are going to be at a decently close range. There won't be that that much of a range. Oh, I shot him through the wall. Yeah, you can see that. Pull out your secondary. Finish him. You, you saw I shot the guy through the wall. And see, I ran out of ammo and I only got 30 bullets per magazine. If it's a hit score again, get that one extra bullet back. Normally, people are never this dumb. Normally they're actually good. Once you get to people, you can stand by the doorway. Hear them. Knife. And if you want, even want to be more toxic, I shot out of kill him. Yep, he has more health now. I heard him say, "Forward." Knife. And then, yeah, just do the ritual. Tap square a bunch. Just whenever you get the last kill, it's your kill cam, so just do whatever you want. Just knife, shoot, or rapid crouch, whatever you want to do. Uh, and so, or, oh yeah, Cav. Number one operator you should get first is well no with re with uh first dlc operation yet uh is cav i'll i'll play her now actually no she's on she's good with terrorist hunt but she's best at uh multiplayer so for newcomers there's a the play is called newcomers it only has three maps it should have house but it doesn't Consulate Bank and Chalet are the three. There's three simple maps, but you can only play if you're below 50, so you can't get put up with level 134s like me. You like put up against other noobs. But also, there's a lot of Smurfs, which Smurf means that it's uh, someone who made a new account. Like, th th their main account's like, I don't know, it could be 200 or 400 or something. And then they make a new account where they still have their skill, but the game thinks they're noobs. So you can get put up with a Smurf who just does. Yeah, I usually don't. I have a Smurf account, but I never ever use it. I only ever use it once, and that was just for fun, just to see what it was like. But I never. Smurfs are dumb. You shouldn't have a Smurf account. Um, so if you go to multiplayer, it puts you with a random map. The random people. All these are random people. And then you can't choose your objective and uh, quick play. So you're going to have all the operators. I'll go Cav just to show you. Uh, I would. Re this is a whole preference. Spaz 12 or M12. The M12 is a shock up Spaz 15. The M12 is an SMG, so it's better at long ranges. But the shotgun is a fast shooting shotgun that has a lot of bullets. 
and her secondary you can only have the one secondary. So uh, I, I usually use shotgun and pistol ever since they buffed her to where her pistol actually has a range, but it's not a one shot at point blank range anymore. Uh, your L1 would be impacts. Uh, it's just a gr it's just basically a grenade. You have two of them. You hit L1 once. You pull it out. You throw it. You can you can actually no, you can hold L1 through you hold it. Then you throw it. It blows up on impact. But uh, it does like 61 damage, I believe. But also remember there is team killing, so don't shoot your teammates. You don't don't shoot him or don't impact at him. If you if you pull your impact on that accident, hit triangle, pull it back. Hit triangle. Uh, R1. Like look at this. And you can you can't have your. There's drones that they send out. You can just shotgun them. Up. Uh, okay, I, I'm sorry. That was kind of trash. You can also just do that. Okay, never mind. Her drone moved. Oh, that's a Twitch drone. The operator I said was really good. Uh, her drone I guess replaced with a shock drone. I'll use her next. Uh, long story short, uh, her shock drone is a, just a normal drone, but it can't jump. It looks different and has five tasers that each you saw do 10 damage. And if I can get someone to show you the gadget, the second part of the gadget, I'll try. That's castle. He places it down a uh, bulletproof walls that you can't shoot. You can melee, but it takes 11 melees. That's my true. Place it down cameras. I can shoot people that are bulletproof. Echo places it down drones that are basically drones where they can't go outside and they can fly up to the wall and you can hit R2 to concuss. Okay. Hold square. Interrogate. You kill him when he's downed. And now you can see their entire enemy position. Or you can just pull out a shotgun and kill him. It, it shows your whole team. It's risky because if there's a teammate around that you don't know, uh, if there's a teammate around that you don't know, they can kill you while you're interrogating. But I've known from experience, it's difficult to do that because you have to get there on time and not hit your teammate. Sometimes I just shoot my teammate just so they survive. That's Cav for you, and uh, I guess now I'll show you. Uh, I don't know. I'll. Sh I don't know. I'll show you Doc, I guess, because his revolver is the meme gun of the two-year secondaries, but the P9 is better. The revolver is a mean meme gun, and uh, basically, oh wow, I had my phone on this entire time. It's not dead. Okay, never mind. So, uh, basically. Yes, you see, once this loads, you'll see that Doc has uh, less ammo on his gun, both of them, and uh, there's no, on in multiplayer, use your bolts wisely, because I know noobs who just spray walls with their primary trying to break it, when you can punch it or use your revolver as a lot of kill power, uh, I'm going to go to a place that's not near the objective. If you go over here... With the revolver, one bullet, two bullet, three bullet, four bullet, five bullet, six bullets, puts a hole through both sides of the wall that you can see through. Just shoot all of your bullets, and you'll be able to have a wall you can shoot through. Uh, Doc is a three armor, uh, one speed, which means he is has a higher armor to where if this guy can stop shooting timely. If you see that, don't move. Whenever what. If, if you see that thing in the, in the top middle, uh, he says his drone coming in or something, don't move. Just stand still. You can crouch and prone and spin circles, but you can't actually use the L3 to move. And, uh, oh yeah, so every person in the game is either a 3 armor, 1 speed, 2 armor, 2 speed, or 1 armor, 3 speed. Their speed, self explanatory, makes them faster. Their armor is how much damage reduction they can take and you see mozzie he's at low health
Oh, dang. If you're also, oh, dang. Okay, I didn't know he was there. But, uh, as dog, if you get downed, why are they vote kicking me? I'm the one who got three kills that round. Yeah, also, apparently, I'm guessing these people are in groups. That's why they're vote kicking me. But if you go to, if you hit the D pad, which is the big black thing in the top middle of your controller, if you press down on that, it shows the score. Um, you can click on someone's name, report them for cheating, which if they think that is something fishy that is cheating, you can hit that. If you th if you think they're being uh, griefing, which means like I'm guessing I'm pretty sure griefing means if they're being toxic, like doing something that's toxic. It doesn't want to do anything. It's just for people being toxic, like going. You you'll understand the game once you play it. Basically, you never really need to use that. Voice abuse it means that they just come in screaming or doing annoying stuff on their mic. Which I'm in party chat, I believe. My yeah, I'm in party chat right now. So, uh, I, no, they don't hear me. But if, if I go to game chat, which if, if you hold down the PlayStation button, which is the button in the bottom middle, and you hold that down, you can't see it because it's blocked that way. You can go to party. Uh, actually, it's settings. That's This is Rainbow, not PlayStation. So... Basically, just move your drone around, trying to find it. These, yeah, these are the cameras. We're attackers, so yeah, R2, it shoots a taser that will destroy that permanently. Um, that might that might be cool for a new operator idea. It's someone who can get cam get gadgets back if they get destroyed. And uh, so you can just fly your drone around. Those are your teammates' normal drones. I believe I heard them on top floor, so go up the stairs. Yeah, I hear them. I hear footsteps. This is a dock. Sh oh, okay. I shocked him once. If he's smart, he won't heal himself because your stims heal 40, and I only did 10. Uh, and you only have three, so it's not a good idea to waste one on yourself. Usually, the only time you ever really need to use one yourself is if you're really low really only use it if you're under 60 don't use it anywhere else besides under 60 uh... kind of not uh... ubisoft okay there we go ubisoft is the person who made this game i have like the dna in my bones tells me if something weird happens just say okay ubisoft i don't know why it makes no sense but i'm just used to it And you can equip sights and stuff uh, on your loadout screen. Activating shot drone. I don't know why I'm bouncing. Yeah, look at that. Why am I bouncing? That's weird. Okay, you saw. Uh. Okay, I missed that. I missed that too. I. Yeah, but it, t it takes aim, so you have to actually aim to hit those. It's my bad for having horrible aim. Headshots are always one tap, no matter what. Oh, dang. Okay, yeah. I thought I killed Doc. Oh, I killed Rook, who's basically Doc, but worse. Okay, yeah. I couldn't aim in time, because all the operators have different uh, ADS times, which means aim down sights. To where it means you go from no scope, to where all your bolts go round in circles, to where you're aiming, to where your bolts hit where they're aiming. Uh, she's not even going to finish her... Usually whenever you down someone, you want to finish them by either knifing or shooting. Usually knifing is a better idea because it's silent, more silent, and you don't waste ammo. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's, that's, huh? When did I hit that guy? Yeah, I got a kill assist, which means I hit them. Yeah, okay, yeah. 
Uh, I guess I, I I guess I did hit the uh, dock whenever he jumped out to kill me and the other guy. Since I got the assist for it. With Twitch, if you shock someone, you get an assist. Unless you kill them. If you kill them, you didn't really assist. You just killed them. Um, yeah. I'm another good operator. Or a DLC operator that would be good to get. Um... On attack, the DLC operator is a little bit worse. Amaru would be my choice to tell you, but she's one of the new operators, so she's the most expensive. I would recommend, I guess, getting Zofia. Zofia is good. Capitao, Hibana. I'll, no, not Ink. Zofia. Okay, yeah. Zofia, she has a feature to where if you get downed, you can hold square and self revive yourself, which is good. It's only really useful if you fall off the map. Because if you fall, if there is fall damage, like a lot of fall damage, if you fall off two stories, you die. Well, you don't die whenever you fall, you get downed, so your teammate could come out and revive you. But if you're a defender, everyone will, yeah, if you're a defender and you go outside for more than two seconds, you'll get spotted. Like, yeah, the, your teammate, everyone on your team, or anyone on the enemy team will know where you are exactly 24-7 until you get back inside. And even like a couple of milliseconds after you get back inside they can see who you are your name and where you are constantly so it's never it's never a good idea to jump out for more than a couple seconds unless you're spawn peeking which in that case it's a different story still it's always the best idea way I just realized that uh there's only two people on the team with kills me and this other guy who is this guy he's platinum three He's level 66, so he either got carried to Platinum 3 or he's a smurf. Uh, ranked? You can't. You can only play ranked once you get to level 30. Uh, unranked, you can play level 10. Unranked is basically ranked, but without the ranked system of it. Ranked is basically casual, but with a lot more rules. Uh, one, there's more rounds. Two, there's overtime. To, like right now you see in the top middle it's match point first person to three wins in casual but in ranked it's first person to it it normally is first person to four but if the if the enemy team and you both have three it'll go into overtime to where if someone gets four uh the game won't be over going to overtime match point And if it's an overtime match point, it's no. If it's an overtime match point, it's, it's the game ends next round no matter what. But to, if it's an overtime, there'll be one more round, and then it'll be match point. If it's match point, if one team wins, if my team wins right now, it'll go into match point. If, it, if they win, it goes into overtime match point. Her gadget. It has grenades that blow up and grenades that can cuss. So, I'll blow up, and then that will concuss. Okay, I hit myself with that. And you might be able to punch this and get up here yeah no don't put your feet up okay oh dang yeah I hit him yeah I got the assist yep steal me and that guy went through like a kills yeah, I would have killed the smoke who was behind the shield, but the operator Ash, which is that one you can see, Ash, Sophia, Jackal, Buck, Finca, Echo, Cav. Her name's Caviera or Cavera, but everyone calls her Cav. That's Frost. That's Smoke. That's Ella. Each operator has their own gadget. You can click on their operator to see what their gadget does, and their guns. Um. Ash, what hers does, it's a rocket launcher, but it's not really a rocket launcher. It just shoots out a 
basically shoots a breaching charge. Yeah, that's basically what it does. It shoots a breaching charge. She has two of them. It shoots a breaching charge. It lands onto a surface and blows up. And since that guy was low, I guess, the smoke that was behind that wall was low. So whenever she shot it, it normally only does like 50 to 40 damage. Uh, but since he was low, it killed him. Oh, yeah. oh that's good. If you win a game, uh, I should have shown you that. But if you win a game, if and you go to the very, if the first page shows all the players and their kills and score and stuff, the second, if you hit R1, you go to the second page. That'll show your score. It'll show uh, how much score you got, how much XP you got, and rank up. Uh, like up in the top right, you see my level is 135. It's higher than I was before. Well, the level isn't, but the bar is underneath that. And then it'll show your how much renown you got. See, I have more renown than I did before. It's only like 100 or 200 per game, though. And then this, in the very far right, is where your alpha pack. It starts out at 2%. If you win, it'll roll. It'll spin. If you hit the 2% that's white, you'll get an alpha pack. If you miss, it'll give you, I believe it's... Two per no. I'm pretty sure it's five percent. No, I'm pretty sure it's two or three. If you win, it gives you two or three percent. No, it's pretty yeah. It's pretty sure it's two. If you win, it gives you two percent more. If you lose, it gives you one point five more percent. And then you keep doing that until you get off back. Once you do get the off the back, you can go over here, hit X on that, or go over here. Uh, you hit, normally this doesn't air. That's just because there's uh, showdown, playdowns, or whatever I call it. Uh, uh, professional leagues, tour stuff, whatever I call it. And you hit X on this. It'll load for a second, and then L3. You move once it loads. Still says please wait. Yeah. You can hit X and it reveals a card right away, but you can on the R3, the one you used to um, look, uh, you can pull that slightly. You can see it's if it's blue, it's rare. If it's gray, it's either uncommon or common. If it's purple, it's epic. If it's yellow, it's legendary. I got a rare. Just finish it off. Yeah, X. I got a skin for smoke mute. That so then if you got to operate, you could just hit X to equip. But I don't want to do that because I have an elite skin for him. You go to mute, and then you go to uniforms, and then voila! I guess that's the only other skin I have for mute. Is that one, and then voila! You have a new skin. That's what he normally looks like. It's like that. No, he normally looks like that, but now he looks like that. That to that. It's just his body and legs and hands. It's not his head. Headgears is a completely different thing. For him, I don't... No, I do have headgears. This is what it normally looks like. This is what this one looks like. Or this is what this one looks like. It doesn't really change it so much because it's common. It doesn't really change much. That one's better. But I have an elite skin, which makes him look like that all the time. So, that's the basics. Uh, how to get in Rainbow. You'll learn more as you go on. And uh, hope to find this uh, enter not uh, fat factual helpful helpful. That's what it is. Hope to find this helpful and uh, see. Bye. I guess. I don't know. I'm just okay. Bye. I guess.